six fantasy K-dramas with otherworldly romances. 1. Goblin. The invincible general Kim Shin has been cursed to immortality as a goblin. It's been close to a century, he roams the earth, seeking the one woman who is destined to be his bride and help weld the sword stuck in his chest. The orphan Jai Yun Tak has been categorized as a miscellaneously omitted person by an exasperated Grim Reaper. Yoon Tak's birth has tilted the balance of fates, which the Grim Reaper oversees, and he awaits an opportunity to correct it. Plus, Yoon Tak has the knack to see ghosts and the ability to call on the goblin as well. 2. My love from the star. What happens when a movie star is literally swept off her feet by a man who has descended from the star himself? Do Min Jun is a 400-year-old transient resident on Earth. He may be designated as an alien, but he looks human and is a very good-looking one. As years turn into decades and decades into centuries, the ageless Min Jun has had several professions. He keeps to himself and enjoys his solitude as he awaits the return to his planet. Then there's Chun Son Yi, who is a moody superstar, known to have an occasional tantrum and meltdowns. When Chun Son Yi finds herself taking a college class headed by Min Jun, she also realizes they are next-door neighbors as well. The inevitable happens, and Min Jun in spite of his reservations, finds himself drawn toward Song Yi. 3. Tale of the Nine-Tailed. Like the goblin, there's another mythical being who roams the earth, awaiting the reincarnation of his one and only love. Li Yin is a gumeho, a nine-tailed fox who relinquished his position as the spirit of Bakdudigan in order to come down to earth and reunite with the love of his life, Ayum. Li Yin has encountered many reincarnations of Ayum during his time on Earth, but none carry the fox Beedi had handed over to her when they parted after her death. 4. Bride of the Water God. A narcissist god wants to rule the realm of the divinity, but realizes that being emperor to the gods is far trickier than he had imagined. Habak the water god descends on earth to source the godstones, which would help him become the ruler, but it seems his godly status does not translate as being lucky. Habak has not only lost his powers, he has also lost the map to the godstones upon his arrival on land. There's also the down and out psychiatrist So Ah. She needs money to pay off her debts but she is also a descendant of a family sworn to serve the gods. When Havoc runs into So Ah, uh, the initial comedy of errors turns into something far more intense between the two. 5. Kokdu, Season of Deity. Can two lovers doomed in their past life meet and live happily ever after in this lifetime? Kokdu has incurred the wrath of God and has been turned into a grim reaper. Every 99 years, Kokdu comes down to earth and possesses a human who looks like him. He is cold and has no qualms in killing evil people. This time, he finds surgeon Du Jin Wu's body. But things change when he appears in front of Han Jai Jiel, a physician. Jai Jiel resembles Kokdu's first love, but also possesses mysterious abilities which could threaten his purpose. 6. Angel's Last Mission. Love an angel has been assigned the task to bring true love to a blind ballerina's life. Dan is a mischievous angel with a heart of gold. But his only weakness is his habit of meddling in earthly affairs. Li Yin Su is a talented ballerina who comes across as aloof and brusque, but is a softy at heart. When Dan's trouble leads to him being banned from entering heaven, the only way for him to gain access is to find true love for Yi and Su. But things go awry when Dan falls in love with Yi and Su instead, and is well aware of the repercussions of this forbidden love in the angelic realm. From the list of dramas above, which ones have you watched? And which drama is the best for you? Please give us recommendations in the comments below. Thank you for watching.